of the committee, we will now come to order, and I think I will read the members of the committee who are present and explain that the only member who is not present is Mr. Jeffrey Wilson from the United Kingdom, whose ship has only docked half an hour ago, and he will therefore not be here this morning. But he has sent someone to listen to the first proceedings, Mr. Morgan. Now, um, a delegate from Australia, Colonel Hudson, is here, and um, the delegate from Chile, Mr. Del Rio, has sent Mr. Santa Cruz, who will sit in his place all the way through, and from China, Dr. Chang is here. From France, Professor Kassai is here. From Lebanon, Dr. Malik. From the USSR, Mr. Tepikov uh, is not here, but he is represented by Professor Vladimir Koretsky, who is here, and we welcome him. And the United Kingdom, I explained about, and the United States is <laughs> here. Now, there are one or two things I was asked to explain. The movies will not bother you for more than 10 minutes. They are for documentation purposes. And um, while I think they're most uh, trying as far as the lights go, it will not be for long. And then I was asked to ask the members of the commission if at the end of the morning session they would be prepared, each one, to stay a minute and let them take a close-up for the movies and say some one thing that they felt significant. If that is agreeable to you, that is what the movie people would like to do. And now um, I have just a few words that I would like to say in starting off this drafting commission. You all know that what we're asked to do is to draft a bill in two weeks. Since the time is short, and many of us are looking at papers, for instance, I had not seen the paper from Great Britain before, and uh, I think the Secretariat uh, paper is probably not, particularly with its documentation, is probably not familiar to the members who are here today. Um, I feel that in two weeks it will probably be very difficult to produce a perfect document, either as to substance or to style. The final determination as to where we should go in this bill and how far, I think, should be made in later stages of the drafting. And that holds good in regards to polishing the language and the avoidance of minor inconsistencies. Uh, the bill will be passed on, and I think this is important for all of us to remember. It will be passed on six times after this session. Once by the Human Rights Commission at its second session, then all the member nations will have an opportunity to go through it and to make recommendations. Then the drafting committee, after receiving comments from the member nations, will have to meet again and go over it. The fourth time, the Human Rights Commission will go over it again. Fifth time, the Economic and Social Council will go on over the report of the second Human Rights Commission. And in the end, the sixth time, it will go to the General Assembly. So, um, as far as the United States is concerned, we had this thought to submit a bill. Since we are all um, doing a first draft, I think all of us will probably agree with the adoption of officers and the adoption of the provisional agenda, the adoption of the rules of procedure, and the review of the terms of reference. And then we get down to the work of the preparation of the preliminary draft. Now, I propose that we go through. We make our, our decision as to whether in view of the material, which must be new to many of us, or whether we should sit this afternoon. 
Now that I think we should consider after we've done these first preliminary. I recognize the member from Australia. Madam Chairwoman, the Commission on Human Rights, the first decision they made was that the chairman, the vice chairman and the rapporteur should undertake with the assistance of the secretariat the task of formulating a preliminary draft bill. As you're all aware, our chairman was the representative of the United States, Mrs. Roosevelt. Our vice chairman was Dr. Chung of China. And our rapporteur was the representative of Lebanon in Dr. Malik. The eight members of the drafting commission, committee of the Commission on Human Rights are now meeting with the objective of drawing up a first preliminary draft of a Bill of Human Rights. At the first meeting of the drafting committee, we've had, we've made an auspicious beginning since all the motions have been passed unanimously. I think perhaps you would like to know the names of the committee and of all those seated at this table. On my right, we begin with the delegate from France. I will begin on my right with the delegate from France, Professor René Cassin. Next, the delegate from Chile, Honorable Mr. Santa Cruz. Next, the delegate from Australia, Colonel Hodgson. Next, the delegate from China, who is also Vice Chairman of the Committee, Dr. P.C. Chang. And then our Assistant Secretary General, Monsieur Logier. And then on my left, the Committee Secretary, Dr. Humphrey. And then the Rapporteur of the Committee and the Delegate from Lebanon, Dr. Malik. And then the delegate from the USSR, Professor Vladimir Koretsky. And then the delegate from the United Kingdom, Mr. Jeffrey Wilson. I now open the meeting of the drafting committee of the Commission on Human Rights.